I already have my guest up on screen. Uh, Aria, hi. Um, let's uh, let's get you in right away. Uh, I usually do a little uh, announcement before I bring my guest on, but uh, I, I forgot to turn off your, your camera, so I'll do it with you here. Uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in, Revs Palaver. This is episode four. I'm very, very happy to talk to today's guest. Uh, from the Netherlands, we have Aria, a developer at Gamius Games, and uh, I don't I don't hear you yet. I don't know if you muted. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm waiting for your uh, introduction. Right. Um, I think I think a lot of people that are tuning in right now know that uh, probably my favorite game of 2016 was Turmoil, developed you. by your uh, your your company, very small independent uh, company, and I'm really happy to talk to you and um, talk about what you've got here. coming up in the future as well as Turmoil. But there's one thing I wanted to talk to you about before we even started. Okay. So, Turmoil just went on sale on Steam the other day for 40% off. Yes. And uh, I don't know if you remember Abrexis, who is often in yeah, the stream. Yeah, I do. He showed me something last night, and he can't make it. He's at work today. But he showed me, oh. and I'm going to pull it up on my stream for anyone watching. Mm -hmm. Turmoil was the number 10 top seller the other day. Uh I, uh, uh, where did he see that? I mean, we did really well uh, yesterday. Those deals, uh, daily deals, are are uh, super important. Um, it was the first time that we sold the game at a forty percent discount. We have been very careful not to go too deep too soon. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and yesterday we sold a lot, and we almost reached our peak concurrent uh, player total. I think we went up to 1,350 something and uh, 1,360 was our, our, our total. So uh, yeah, the daily deal was actually really good for us yesterday. And I believe it's still, we're not featured anymore, but it's still active for the coming three hours. Yeah, you got about three um, more hours. Um, yeah. I think all of my friends have already bought it, but if there's yeah, anyone the, watching the stream that doesn't own Turmoil... If they watch Turmoil, your stream, they, they probably will have. Yeah, I, I, and even if you don't get it for $6, buy it for 10 It's great. It's Thank it's you. Like I said, it's one of the... And, and I'm not saying this just because you're a guest. I've been I've been telling everyone this. It no, is you, probably, you've been there from the beginning. Yeah, it's probably the best game I've played in all of 2016. And it's definitely the best yeah. indie game. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, without a doubt. Um, so I'm not going to go too deep into turmoil. I feel like uh, I feel like that's a road that's been walked down a lot. But I will say for anyone that um, is watching the stream, uh, Arya does a at least once a week, but sometimes twice a week stream. Yeah, I try to stream twice a week on Thursdays and Tuesdays uh, around this time. I would say, yeah, yeah, right around and, now. Uh, yeah, the more, the more uh, audience involvement, the better. So if people uh, have any questions or want to know stuff, even if it's beginner stuff, uh, that is fine by me, uh, because that gives me uh, stuff to talk about, and uh, then usually it becomes a good stream. Yeah, and now I'll say I think that's one of the things that's really been very unique about your game and about um the way that you've sort of marketed it is you mm -hmm. you don't with the big developers you don't get this sort of you know very close support with the the people the fans and the, the customers who buy it and yeah. that's really just made me continue to love turmoil more is that if i'm home and if i can i always try to tune into those streams it's fun to just sit there yeah. and watch someone else play and talk and see new people yeah. get involved i think i think it's one of the um the, the very good aspects about uh, indie development and indie gaming is that you can find a game first of all you can find a game that fits your play style and personality very well because there's so many different types of game out there with um uh, different types of uh, themes and characters that you maybe wouldn't see at the, the the bigger studios that don't get to take a risk um, and second of all because I think the indies are a bit more approachable uh, usually every small studio I, we don't really call ourselves indie per se but we are small okay um, and every small studio has 
uh, one or two people that don't mind um, being a figurehead and talking to, uh, you know, talking to people and, and answering questions. And because uh, also the audiences that those small developers get aren't as massive, um, we do have the opportunity just to uh, to answer questions and to go into a one-on-one -on -one with someone that normally, uh, like for a double or triple A studio or game, would be unavailable. Um, and I think that's something that we've seen in the Steam discussions, for instance. We've been very active in that community for, uh, well, a year and a half now. Um, and that's very much appreciated, but uh, we also like doing it. Um, but it's manageable. Um, if, if we would have uh, 100 times the sales, that would be fantastic, of course, but then the amount of questions and threads in the forums um, would be overwhelming and we couldn't um, talk to people anymore. So there are uh, definitely positives to, to being small and uh, allowing uh, us to talk to the people who like our game. Right. And I, I would like to think that in addition to that, you get the, the community that builds and you have people like Abrexis and myself and uh, mm -hmm. PikaBot who are very regulars in your stream, who yeah. are very happy and very excited to answer questions when you have someone new jumping in. So yeah. there'll be times when you're sitting there trying to thermalize a gas pocket <laughs> and I know okay. you're not looking at the stream, so I'm happy to answer what's going yeah. on in Twitch chat. Um, yeah, it's the, the, the people, uh, especially uh, people like yourself and the people you just mentioned who've, who've kind of been with us from the beginning almost mm -hmm. um, and are still with us are also uh, very keen on helping out new people. So that, that sense of community, I think um, uh, it perseveres through, like uh, it starts with us and we try to, to help people. But then uh, the, the, the positive fallout is that people like you start helping as well and uh, then it, it just becomes a very friendly friendly stream and a friendly community so we're very uh, very grateful for that yeah absolutely uh the community aspect of, i've never seen anyone uh, i mean there's light-hearted good-natured friendly ribbing among some of the yeah. chat but it's um i mean it's it's even more polite and nice than i am with my friends and family so it's yeah it's yeah, very... yeah no I, it's it's sometimes <laughs> it's, it's or it used to be difficult to kind of find a good balance between um, uh, being polite but also being realistic and funny. And yeah. we've had people on the stream like months and months ago that didn't behave super fantastically. And it was always a short-term thing. People would just – it just doesn't fit, I think, in our stream. And it, it it's – uh, people notice that and then they, they stop and they either leave or they join mm -hmm. and then uh, it's fun again. So it's it's funny how that goes. It's something that you really want to happen, but not something that you could. It's not a switch that you can turn on. It's something that you have to work at. And um, in the beginning, we streamed with uh, two people. Um, we had a, an intern who was really good at. Uh, I remember playing the game. Yeah, he was really good. And of course, he was a, a native uh, a British uh, citizen, so his English was much better than mine, obviously. Um, and that was fun as well, because I had kind of a partner to uh, banter with. But now, uh, now that I don't have that anymore, the, the banter is yeah between me and the viewers. And that's, uh, that's awesome. And I think it works out very well, especially when you get at least one or two regulars uh, yeah. in there that, that you know that you can trust and you know you can bounce things off of. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to go to my Twitch chat for one second here. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, of my course, friend, I know how to, what it is. Yeah. This is a person I thought was my friend, but I now <laughs> have to reassess that because he just asked, what kind of game is Turmoil? Oh. Now, oh. I have an answer that I would give to him, but I'd love to hear your answer first. Uh, hmm. And, and uh, Loina, who also owns the game, I, I forced him to buy the game. Loina Good answers, in the old world, drill for oil like it's 1899. Turmoil offers players a variety of visually charming, tongue-in-the-cheek take on the simulation genre inspired by the 19th century oil rush in North America. Yep. And that's a that's fun little blurb, thing. but I think we can do better. Yeah, it's... Um, I, it, if I try to 
boil it down to what it what turmoil comes down to you could probably uh, best describe it as a time management game but um, I don't think it totally does it justice because there's more going on than that um, the marketing text is correct you do search for oil dig for oil try to get it above the ground and then you need to sell it at the, the most opportune moments obviously when the, the price is highest um, and that's just the 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 basics um, around that we've created a, a tiny world and a tiny town uh, which doesn't have a name actually so you might as well call it turmoil but uh, we, we've never named that town um, but then again you didn't have names for areas one through four until no, just the no, other no, day no, it's, uh, we always talk about um, I, I do talk about it on stream sometimes but we we emphasize gameplay at uh, Gamies. We think it's the most important thing. Um, I think I talked about it last stream where I, I said that if, if it's not fun to play with squares and such, um, it's not going to be fun with actual art. Um, so uh, we, we focus a lot on that and then those areas became area one, two, three and four just internally because it was easiest. Um, and, and quickest to describe what we we're talking about and that kind of never changed we did have names for them we called them plains deserts but then again the area one and three are a little bit alike uh, mm -hmm. same kind of a, they're both uh, have a green theme um, and uh, we never really settled on anything but uh, with the new update last week we really wanted to settle on uh, something uh, and we did uh, we, we gave them names I think it's Plains View I still have to get used to it Plains View the desert Misty Mountains and then Snowy oh, no, I think it was like Misty, Misty Meadows. Meadows Misty Meadows sorry Misty Meadows and Snowy Mountains there you go yeah. um, and then there's the bonus island look at me um, correcting so, yeah, that it's, it's just one of those things that is maybe a little bit strange but typical for a game use game where we worry about what's good and fun to actually play in the game and then uh, never really worry about the other stuff mm -hmm. and I can definitely understand that the other stuff is important too but um, for us it's it's just uh, less of a priority so we don't worry about it that much um, and then once we you know start updating or polishing these kinds of things come up and then we have to uh, address them and that's kind of what, the way we work mm -hmm. um, well I I just did a VOD the other day when um, the update got pushed live so I could mm -hmm. try playing bonus island in single yeah. player mode <laughs> I was like I gotta get my oil on and um, I had a lot of fun but then the other thing is I really like the little change where you can do the slider bar so just to test that out I went back to area 1 the mm -hmm. uh plains plain view plain, plains view yeah plains view i think it's and, plains view plains view and um just tried bumping the oil all the way to max and seeing what kind of money i could make doing that versus the bonus and it was pretty i mean i think i made something like similar. 100k in the bonus island then but i made like 48k in plains view yeah uh, um so it just goes to show that you can have a lot of fun with all the different effects but here's the point I was I wanted to get to with that. One of the other things, in addition to the way that you handle the community and that you 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 really offer a lot to fans of the game, is the fact that you've kept updating this game after it yeah. went live. It went gold, yeah. but you've had update after update after update, free DLC with the music. Um, yeah. Are these little things that your company can do without having to invest a lot? Or is yeah. this something that, like, a continuing because it's still selling? Um, both. Both. Yeah, I mean, um, we're a small company, so we have to make uh, business decisions that may uh, that make sense. Um, uh, Turmoil is doing really well for us. So for the first time in about five years, because we've been at it for five years now, um, for the first time we've got some more... Uh, leeway, uh, more money on the bank, um, to kind of yeah take a step back and determine okay what do we want to do in 2017. Um, 
but it, it, we still want to keep updating Turmoil because it because it's doing well, and also because we've got more ideas for the game. So um, my in my estimation, uh, that that's something that we're gonna keep doing. We've got a couple of updates that we uh, definitely want to do. So I would um, I'm like guessing now, but we're gonna have two or three more op updates at least in the first half of 2017. Um, and what we're going to do after that is we don't know. We usually don't know what we're going to work on um, mm -hmm. half, a, half a month or a, a half a year from now. Um, as you, you've already mentioned, uh, Team Racing League, uh, it's a very important game to us. It's a game that's made by more people than we usually make games with. So it's, uh, it's a more expensive and time consuming process and um, we want to open that up to early access the same uh, as we did for Turmoil but it's a totally different game it's, it's a multiplayer racing game with everybody uh, on screen and that is just a very big technical uh, technical hurdle um, we we've, we've started testing with people from outside of the building um, because when you test everything inside of the building it, it works really well and there's not a lot of ping um, so it becomes harder when you test with people uh, who are farther away and who maybe uh, have worse systems or worse internet um, so yeah we want to uh, uh, work on that as well um, but we are we do have limited resources so at some point in time we're gonna have to make a decision on uh, do we continue updating turmoil how is team racing league league doing and does that need more people or less um, it could for, for you know it could fail spectacularly and then we've got time in our hands and reason enough to kind of push turmoil more uh, then again it could do really well and uh, because it's a multiplayer game do better than turmoil and then at some point we'll have to say well okay turmoil is a really good game and we're done with it mm -hmm. uh, we're just gonna keep selling it um, but not work on it anymore and then move everybody over to uh, team racing league so it's um, it's it's very hard for us to kind of predict but we have we've always known that we wanted to keep updating turmoil uh, once we released it um, fully that was June uh, this year, so about half a year ago, um, there were things on the table that we had to leave off um, just to get it released. Uh, I know it's a difficult um, decision to make, but uh, cutting features ships game is a well-known saying in the industry, um, and it's it's not a, a decision that everybody can make. There are enough uh, examples of, of companies that just keep updating and right. want to create the perfect game before they launch and and we very knowingly and willingly uh, decided okay we need to finish the game to a point where it's, it's value the 10 bucks that we ask for is is high enough and then let me interrupt you here uh for yep. just a second just because i i want to i want to hit one or two things before we go too far afield and mm -hmm. uh, get beyond that yeah sorry stop um, me when you need to yeah no 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 you were really on a great roll and i feel terrible <laughs> interrupting you because i was no, no, no. look but i found that i was just sitting there listening to it and enjoying what you were saying and um that's not great <laughs> that's not what we're doing that's not great podcasting <laughs> there was one or two things I wanted to talk about. I definitely want to circle back to Total Racing League. Um, that's something Team I want to talk about League. a little bit yeah. more. But uh, I, the, the first most important point is, um, for anyone who hasn't played Turmoil, let me be 100% clear. This is a fully finished game. When he's talking about updates, he's talking about taking a fully finished game and just going back and adding more free bonuses to it for people that own it. Uh, and it's not like uh, Arya is saying, well, we want to do it. They've done it. They've done it several times. They've already updated it, yep. patched it, made things better, added free DLC. Um, the other yeah, maybe I should, I should have picked my words a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, no, I just want to be clear. Um, Thank you. It, it, like, it's, it's a fully fit. I've even had people say, Wait a second! You're you're talking about they just updated it. Is it in beta or is it? I'm like no no yeah. no 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 no. It's it's. Yeah, we've had that in the in the community as well. Sometimes there, the people who ask when it when it's coming out, 
and no, it's it's been out for a while. It's just a new update and a new free content. Right. Um, then the other thing I wanted to mention was, and uh, I know that you've talked about this on on the dev stream uh, a fair bit. But one of the things you're considering, and it's just sort of, mm-hmm. it's on the table, is um, a larger expansion to the game, uh, uh, which yeah. would include a paid DLC. Yes. Um, I, I, my personal hope is that TRL takes off for you and does well. I think, as you mentioned, the inclusion of a multiplayer aspect could really draw in a larger base of fans. I think a lot of people are just at the point where they're used to playing online. Yeah. And that's one of the questions that I think we see a lot about Turmoil is, is there multiplayer or will there be multiplayer? And there isn't, really. No. Um, no. Although... I mean, I, I can consider multiplayer... Uh, we we will consider multiplayer only if we sell uh, a huge amount of copies. Right. The right. problem is that we probably won't sell that many unless we do multiplayer. It would have so to be enough to make a... it financially viable. Yeah, that's true. And at it, it, multiplayers, it's, I mean, it, it's been commented on uh, from the early beginnings of early access. So we know that peop- that's a, a feature. I'm, I'm calling it a feature, but that's not doing it justice. Um, that people want. It's something that people want. But uh, for, this game has one programmer, and it's a single player experience. To turn that into a, a multiplayer experience uh, would require. An enormous amount of, of code and backend and uh, rethinking game mechanics. Although there is a, you play against three NPCs in the game, but still. Um, yeah, it, it's, it, it's not it, just it, as simple you, as plugging something no, in. No, it's not as simple. As, it's not a, a, a patch. So uh, yeah, multiplayer is it's not something that we we are considering. We are considering, um, and this is true. This is what I've talked about uh, on the stream as well. Is is changing the single level gameplay to be more inclusive of other people so um, being able to uh, play a single level and challenge a friend Mm -hmm. or um, challenge on a leaderboard or maybe send out an invite to somebody else um, or maybe play at the same time as someone else and then just waiting for someone else to finish and, and, and compare scores. That's stuff that we want to investigate and then the first thing you mentioned is indeed more content, uh, maybe as paid DLC. I'll buy um, it. In, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> um, in the in in the game, uh, we have one large map with four areas, um, so we could potentially uh, think of a uh, uh, something happening in the game where we get to go to another area mm-hmm. or go to another map entirely with four new areas. But that would require. Um, yeah, that's a significant. We think it would require more than just new levels to play. It would require new game mechanics. It would probably require a couple of new characters, um, mm-hmm. something to do in the town, uh, that kind of stuff. New character, right here, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bearded guy with glasses, dose rev. Um, no, you know, I, I know there's no official multiplayer in the game, but my moderator in chat, uh, Loiny Pants, or as I call him, Loina, um, he, he's one of my friends that I, I, you know, virtually grabbed by the collar and shook and said, go buy this game. I want you to yep. play it. And he and I have done a couple seed battles. And yeah. I think I've even linked to you the YouTube videos of our seed battles where we've challenged each other and see who could get the higher score. So you can even take a single player game and, and, and add a, a multiplayer aspect if aspect, you're creative. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, we, we still play seed battles uh, two and a half years into the game. So that's stuff that we do in the office here on a, on a Friday, uh, Friday afternoon. So we know it's fun. Um, and, and it's something that we want to uh, give to people as well. And so that's why we're looking into the single level. Um, yeah, upgrading that to something... Not multiplayer, but akin to multiplayer, where you challenge friends and, and get to uh, yeah get to play against someone else. Well, I think it's time to talk a little bit about Total Racing League. I have a team couple. Team Racing League. Oh, Team Racing League. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, you know, that's okay. I, I don't know if you know this. We used to have a show here in America called Total Request Live that was very popular. It was on MTV. Oh. And yeah. that was also called TRL. And really? I think that's why oh. I keep getting a little confused. So Team Racing League, everyone. Yeah, team, 
Team Racing League. Um, I actually had a couple questions from some viewers of my stream who can't make it here today mm -hmm. that wanted me to pass those along. So okay. I didn't do a lot in, in the way of preparing questions, but, but I have Go questions ahead. from other people. Yep. So the first of all, uh, you, you're, you would say the game's sort of in early alpha stage right now. It's very yeah. basic. Yeah, um, it, I mean, gameplay-wise, um, we are quite happy with the basic gameplay. And with that, I mean uh, the way the car drives, mm -hmm. and the way cars react to each other, um, and what you do in the game, which is A, racing, uh, B, trying to uh, be as obnoxious as you can towards the opponent. Mm -hmm. So uh, that kind of stuff works. Um, and that is is in a far preceded alpha stage because um, we're we're still tweaking numbers and the, the way you slide around the corner should feel a little bit different here or there. Um, so that that's that kind of stuff is still um, it is kind of uh, yeah I would say it's not in beta yet because it's not set in stone but uh, we would be ready to start testing with people outside of the outside of the office and we've started testing people outside of the office okay um, that, let me just interrupt you for a second that brings me up to the next point which is okay how can anyone watching this right now sign up to to try this out and be in the alpha okay well that's an easy question because we've set up a, a website especially for people who don't mind to uh mind playing games that are not, that are not completely done yet um it's the website is uh, teamracingleague.net, so uh, in the, it doesn't end in .com because that was taken. But teamracingleague.net, um, and you can sign up for the alpha. It, it is a you will get a, a message that you get added to a mailing list, which is true. Um, we use that mailing list. We'll use it once or twice just to send out Steam codes to people, and all the rest of the communication will go through Steam and the Steam community. Um, and maybe we will add Discord to the community channels, uh, the, the communication channels as well, because uh, voice over IP is a nice addition to this kind of team-based uh, multiplayer game. But uh, so and Luna racing... just put the uh, link there in chat if for anyone oh, watching. You. So thank you very much, Luna. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, that's that's the right now the only way to sign up. Uh, you will get added to a mailing list. Uh, don't worry about it. We won't start start mailing you. It's just a way for us to uh, contact people. So let me ask you. So here's my next question. Does everyone who signs up for the mailing list, will they probably get an invite? Probably, yes. Okay, because uh, I, I don't can't... think I've gotten one yet. Uh, no, that's true because we haven't sent them out yet. Oh, all right. Um, so uh, we've started testing about two weeks ago on a Thursday evening with friends and family, as we call it. Mm -hmm. And uh, nobody was able to join the game. Oh, uh, and that's worrying. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like so, a coding issue. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it turned out uh, two weeks ago was uh, the Steam servers were down, and we used Steam servers. Um, so we did it again last week, and it was much, much better. But we still had some issues, and then there was a test yesterday um, with people trying to brute join and quit, join, quit, join, quit, that kind of stuff. Um, so it's going better and better, but we didn't feel comfortable yet inviting people outside of the building. So we might have another test tomorrow for people that we know, but um, the first real test with people from the outside will be after New Year's. It's something that we would have liked to do this week, but we, we just didn't manage it. So uh, Kyoshian asks, do you get bombs and guns and stuff? And I'd like to answer that. No. Okay, go so, ahead. So uh, no. Team Racing League, from the very, very, very early alpha build that I saw being played, it is um, it is a, it's a three versus three team racing game, top down, and there are no power-ups. There are no uh, debuffs. It is a it's basically a racing strategy game and where the yep. racing strategy comes in is since there's three people on your team only one of your teammates has to win so the other two can do these blocking moves and um i think i saw they can like they can hook up and make a barricade right yeah i'm gonna, yep. why don't you explain a little bit more about no, that i mean th that's uh, exactly what it is uh, what we like to do at game is same thing we did for turmoil is is 
take one game mechanic um, and and really try to perfect it and make it really pure. Um, so we've never ever considered power ups for team racing league. Um, which meant we gave ourselves a challenge because we had to kind of think of new ways for a racing game to stay interesting. Normally, if you, like in Mario Kart, if you like lose or, or lose ground in the first couple of corners, um, you have ways of catching up with power-ups, and, and we've done away with that. So we needed to think of other stuff, um, and that other stuff has become teamwork. Um, you can lock on to a, a, a friend and make yourself go faster that way or you can lock onto a friend and and put uh, put up a barricade for the racer of the other team um there are yeah there's also sorry uh, there's also picking up uh, blocks and then blocking the way for the other team so there's there's different ways of blocking there's different ways of creating shortcuts there's different ways of of kind of boosting giving your yourself a little bit of extra speed uh, if you work together that's kind of the main thing um, it's there there have been team racing games before but not uh, where there's so much uh, hinging on it so if you are if you're not gonna race as a team you're probably gonna lose um, and it, that's a, it's a big challenge we think it's fun we uh, think it, it's fun it but... certainly looks fun and I think another thing that that really deserves to be mentioned is you're not racing around an oval or a, a no. simple track. You're racing around no. some very dynamic maps with cliffs, height differences. Yeah. Uh, you have to make jumps uh, and yeah, just a bump uh, at the wrong time. We and... do call it, yeah, we, we call it skill-based racing. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's not going to be easy. Um, I just, like five minutes ago, I said we were still kind of tweaking with uh, steering controls, that kind of thing. Because um, at some point you were... Uh, there was a, a track where you could kind of go throughout the entire track with almost not uh, putting on the brakes. You would just have to let go of the gas a little bit. And that's just not um, not difficult enough, not skill-based enough. That's not skill. So, yeah. No, 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 that's not skill. So, um, yeah, that's stuff that we're still kind of experimenting with. Uh, for us, though, it's also a different, uh, a difficult uh, kind of tightrope that we need to walk because we've been playing the game for a year um, and we've got it in our fingers mm -hmm. as soon as we give that to people who've never played it before they're going to have issues driving or at least we, we don't hope so but they might have issues driving and then we might, might need to make it a little bit more easy or, or change something so that's I mean, once we go into alpha testing and beta testing and then into early access um Anything can happen. Uh, if when we go into early access, we're opening ourselves up for uh, for the community and ideas from the community. Um, we do have a, a clear idea of where we want to go, but as soon as people start playing the game, they will uh, be vocal about what they like and what what they don't like, and we need to uh, address that and 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 manage that as good as we can. Well, I, I just want to real quick. Um, Abrexis just uh, Abrexis just joined the Twitch chat, and ah, I, just, good to see I, you, I, I don't know if you're uh, watching the stream or Twitch chat. But no, 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 I'm just uh, watching you. Oh, oh, I'm very sorry about that. That's horrible. <laughs> That's uh, but he said uh, Abrexis says congratulations on being in the Steam top ten, good sir. I started the. I started the cast with that at breakfast. I told him. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we're talking about um, Team Racing League. Uh, just want to recap real quick. Um, Loiny Pants will go ahead and put the link back in chat for me again. Uh, you can go to teamracingleague.net and sign up. They're going to be starting alpha invites uh, soon. -ish. January. Well, let's say January. Okay, that'll be good. Uh, and um, yeah, and uh, I, think, I also uh, wanted to mention uh, yeah. Elta Carampage said. Okay, I'm sold. Be obnoxious and troll the other team while a skilled yep. player wins for my team. Shut up and take my money. It's, so, uh, <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is actually we've kind of brainstormed about how we wanted to market the game and and what's the kind of stuff that we want to put out there uh, to make this stand out. Um, we and one of the, the 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 ideas that we have is to do kind of a troll campaign, right? Because everybody hates trolls in most multiplayer games it's not a good thing um, in our game you can actually 
be a troll and help your team out. So that's uh, something that is unique for our game and, and uh, helps people out. For instance, if you're not super great at the racing aspect, it doesn't mean you're out of the game. It means you've got a very good reason to turn around and try and uh, block the other opponent, uh, block the opponent. So it is something that we will bring back in our messaging uh, once we start going public more, that this is a, a game where you can troll. And it, well, and it's, it's not only uh, encourage, but it's a necessary part of the game, really. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the, there, you know, there are so many tactics that you can uh, employ. You could, uh, all three of you could start racing, and, and as soon as it becomes clear that one of you is uh, in the lead and will race for the finish, then the other two can turn around um, and, or help him out. So there, there's different ways to go. You can preset your roles or you can have your roles be determined during the, the game for whatever happens in the first two or three corners. Um, if, if, you, if you're playing with one or two friends that you kind of know and you play the game with more often, you are going to be uh, really good at the well, game. Well, because you're a team. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I think any good team-based game. I play a lot of Overwatch. Well, not a lot, mm -hmm. but I I play some Overwatch, and you can't compete with two or three players who know how who each other plays. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, that's absolutely. It, it's also one of the main reasons that we chose the name. Um, it's a little bit generic, which I will uh, readily admit uh, immediately, but uh, we really wanted to. Uh, we came up with a hundred different names for the mm -hmm. games. Some uh, names that were kind of creating new words, for instance, uh, trying to come up with a new verb that could describe what it was. But we really wanted to convey the meaning that uh, it's a team-based game, which is unique, um, and it has a kind. Of, we always called it uh, a MOBA on wheels mm -hmm. kind of uh, thing. So League was a nice. Um, a, a nice addition. Obviously, L League of Legends and Rocket League have the same word in its name. Um, so, Team Racing League is, is a bit generic, but it does describe exactly what you do because it's a team based game, it's a racing game, and um, it has mobile like qualities, so to speak. Um, and that was the best we could do. And I think it, it's the best name that we could give it for now, especially as we are a small company. Um, we don't have the luxury of spending a lot of marketing budget on uh, explaining why a game is called uh, something strange, right? Can we, can we, get, can we get one discarded name that had a made-up word in it? Oh, I'm sure um, you know one. No, uh, th this was long ago. Oh, okay. Well, we are, I mean, we're, we are, uh, in the office we have a lot of bad plays on word like word puns and, mm -hmm. and plays on words so there were a lot of awful ones there that i couldn't even uh i, I wouldn't want to say online um but ah oh, man was I was gamiest I'll, I'll team racing one of the names by any chance huh Sorry? was gamiest team racing no no no. we never considered uh gamiest in the title okay. we really don't uh, it, also for Turmoil, by the way, we've never really pushed Gamius as a brand uh -huh. um, because it's not interesting to us. Um, we want to get Turmoil out there as a game, and we want to get Team Racing League out there as a game, um, and other games that we have. And both games, I mean, I mean, games are not those games are not similar. They're going to have different right. people uh, playing them. So it will be fun if in a few years' time. People will know Gamius and think, hey, that's synonymous to um, uh, like pure games with good gameplay. That would be amazing. But well, it's not something that we really push at the moment. It, it, that's interesting that you bring that up. I have one or two other games in my Steam library that were developed by Gamius Games that I bought after falling in love with Turmoil. Mm -hmm. And the one that keeps coming to mind is IO. Um, oh, yeah, right. And IO... I, it's it's so strange that I can play IO and recognize that it's a great game. It's a very precise puzzle sort of strategy game where you yeah. really have to manage what you're doing. And I hate it. 
I, it is I, totally different. I, I got to a certain level, and then after my stupid little ball, I'm like growing it and shrinking it, and I'm yeah. like, uninstall. Yeah. And but but the thing uh, is, is even as I was sitting there thinking yeah. to myself, okay, I don't like this, I, I don't like this game. I could recognize that philosophy that you that you just right. mentioned. I can recognize that philosophy of sort of a pure game. Yeah. Um, there, there's really the the rules are very simple. Yeah. And it was you know no frills. Yeah, and and so I'm in no way saying that it's a bad game. I'm saying it's no. a bad game for me. No, no, no. I I completely understand, and I O is not my favorite either, but. Um... It, it, what you say is true. It, it's the same. We found we had this one mechanic of, of it's a physics. It's it's a mix of things, right? It's a puzzle game, but it's also a, a, a racing game. You have to reach the exit as soon as you can, um, and then it's physics based. You have to shrink and grow a ball. Um, if you're big, then you can get more speed, but you also have more mass. So if you're up in the air and you're big, then you're gonna fall down. Uh, if you're small, then you're super light, so you can go very far, etc. But um, other than that, we haven't done anything to uh, the gameplay. So you, you grow and you shrink and that's it. And we've built 275 levels it is um, that lets you race in some kind of sneaky or smart uh, or fast or whatever we've come up with way. Um, and that's it. So yeah, I, I agree that it has the same kind of qualities. It is a gamiest game. Um, it's an old game though, uh, <laughs> but it's coming out to uh, a PlayStation and Xbox in 2017. So we're still we're still we're still working on that. Well, if people like good games and they like puzzle games and sort of physics based yeah. platform, it, I would almost call it a physics based platformer more than anything yeah. else. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's a great game. It just it was very frustrating for me. I, I just want to read one or two things to you from chat. So yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, we've had uh, we hit eighteen people in chat. We're down to about fourteen, but I think that's still pretty good. Okay, good. Um, good. Elta Corampi. I'm going to just call you Clax because I know who you are, Clax. Okay, so Clax says um, if he keeps up the connection, he being you, uh, yeah. area. Uh, if Area keeps up the connection to consumers and doing things like this, Gamius will take off sooner rather than later, and people will recognize them as a great company. And Abrexis uh, responded so. to that saying, the Gamius brand is already getting a reputation for how well uh, they have connected, uh, as you mentioned above. Don't disregard yep. how much of an impression you, Arya's, uh, dedication to the community is very apparent to us. I see great things ahead for really? your company. Thank you. Um, well, that's great to hear. I mean, it's uh, our our fan base, or fan base, but uh, like the people who play Turmoil, the people who kind of check our Twitter account, the people who follow the streams, it's something that is uh, slowly but continuously growing. And my role within the company uh, is becoming more and more fun because of it, right? Every time uh, the, the community grows a little bit, uh, it becomes a bit more alive and it's a bit more uh, it's a bit more fun every time so uh, I'm really happy to hear that yeah uh, I, Klax is yelling at me it's El Taco Rampage I'm like dude shut up you're Klax <laughs> I know who you are I know who you are El Taco um, Rampage good so one or two other things uh, I wanted to go off of uh, just to flop back to TRL yeah. You mentioned you've been playing it internally for a year. Oh, yeah, more. I think that most people don't realize how much work goes into game development. Um, yeah. And and it's it, a lot. I mean, for, for, for Turmoil as well, um, we work together with uh, uh, one math professor slash programmer. Um, and for every, well, for every, for every Turmoil that we have, at least eight, nine, or ten other prototypes are discarded, mm -hmm. and and most of them are discarded very quickly. But uh, we've also had prototypes that we've worked on for three weeks, uh, three months, sorry, and actually thought that they would make a good game. And then while playing it, we find out that there's just not enough in it, um, and then we discard it and mm -hmm. we move on. Um, and for 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 Team Racing League, uh, we had the exact same thing we discarded a lot of ideas 
um, once we finally settled on the idea, we had to start racing and testing. Um, and then once we started the multiplayer aspect, the networking aspect of game, we recognized that some things that we wanted in the game, which were, for instance, exact collisions in a physics-based environment, um, where if you hit one car, hits the other car, like right at the bottom corner, then it, it moves exactly that way. Um, wasn't possible in multiplayer because of lag issues. Mm -hmm. Every multiplayer game has lag, but uh, there are ways to conceal that lag. For instance, a Mario Kart has lag, but right. um, you drive on a different position uh, on your screen than the rest of the screens. You never see that because you don't see the rest of the screens and you don't see most of the players. So it's not as much as a, uh, an issue on Mario Kart. And once you hit someone in Mario Kart you get or you get hit, you get you jump up and there's this shaking thing and you get put back down. And that's the instance where you get put back into the spot uh, of the server. So every now and again you get bumped and you get put back into the server spot. Our game is a multiplayer game uh, top down where everybody is in the same screen. So you see every little piece of lag uh, going around and we have to hide uh, lag in different ways. First we had cars that were driving. Right now we have hovercrafts that have a little bit of energy uh, in and around them so that we can also add a little bit of shake and more natural looking uh, movements that weren't natural with cars so we had to change a lot throughout the year year and a half that we've been be, we've been working on, on TRL and and yeah it does take us a long time to get to a point where we're happy enough for it to uh, uh, show to to other people well I I personally I'm very excited about it. Uh, some of the people who couldn't be here today, fellow streamers who I've talked to about this, uh, they're very excited about it. That's uh, one or two of the um, questions that I, I had came from mm -hmm. other people who knew they wouldn't be able to be here at this time. Um, we're, cool. we're, we're getting down to about the last 10 minutes left right. of the podcast, and there were one or two other things I, I definitely wanted to hit before uh, we ran out of time that are very important to me personally. So... Um, you've mentioned on your streams before that there Gameus has other games that aren't available outside of your area or aren't available in the States. Turn-based yep. Templars. Can you yeah. explain to me why I can't play this game? Um, it's, I, I mean, there's a couple of games, right? Um, first of all, uh, okay, we'll talk about turn-based Templars first and let me plug, just plug one other game. Oh, please. Uh, it's like a two... 2017, uh, um, you'll, you'll have the like premiere. Okay. Um, but turn-based Templars, uh, for the people who don't know it, and I suspect that is everybody. Yeah. Uh, turn-based Templars is a not a, it's it is turn-based, but it's also it's so hard to explain, and that's why that's exactly why we haven't put it out there yet because we found it really hard to explain to people. But uh, at its essence, it's a mobile game. Um, turn-based where you have soldiers and walls the only thing you have to do is capture areas capture um, space on a map and you, you you use the walls for that and then you use the soldiers to try and prevent the other soldiers the other team soldiers to do the same um, it's a multiplayer turn-based game in terms of that you play like uh, word feud for instance where you make a move and then I see the results and then I make a move but we've changed that up. Um, we call it kind of tr um, simultaneous turn-based. You make a move whenever you want, and uh, when you're ready, you press submit, and then you wait. I make a move whenever I want, and when I'm ready, I make a, uh, I press submit, and then I wait. When we've both pressed submit, then both turns are played out in one go. So you kind of we call it the planning phase because you never know what the opponent's going to do during the planning phase you you tell your soldiers to move to a certain spot and you build a certain wall but your opponent does the same and those moves are all played out at the same time and then you have basically you have a new chessboard so to speak right and then you get to do the planning phase again um, and the game has a coin system where you get 100 coins for every turn. So you have to be, you, you can only do so much and you have to 
pick and choose what you're going to do. It's a super strategical game. It is, once you get it, and once you get into the flow of the fact that you, okay, I have to plan something and then wait for something else to happen, because that's where a lot of people uh, kind of didn't get it. They, they want just to keep on playing, but they had to wait for a multiplayer or someone else, uh, for an opponent to make their move as well. Um, yeah, so, so once once you've done your move, you can just move on to a different game. And we kind of envisioned it like Word Feud, where you play five to maybe three to five games at the same time. Mm -hmm. And every now and again, you see a friend or an opponent made a move, and you get to see the results, and you, you see what you did and what happened, and then you can plan another move and then send it away again. So it's like email chess kind right. of thing. Um, and it, it's it's one of the games that we feel is it's maybe our best game, uh, but it's so hard to explain. I mean, I've played it for a year and I'm still finding it hard to find the the correct words to explain it to you. Um, we've built AI into the game where you can play a single player game on a smaller map and then a medium map and then a, a full size map on different difficulties. So that's going to help. Um, but still, people, yeah, didn't didn't really uh, get it. And then something happened. We got a, a, an assignment from a company to make a different game, and the programmer that was on turn-based Templars went to that game. Um, so it's been kind of it's it's it just had a, a we pressed a pause button on the game, okay. and we really want to publish it maybe in 2017. It's a mobile game, but uh, it's just we don't know if we're going to get around to it. We really want to, but it's... Uh, yeah, what I've said in the beginning, we need to make smart business decisions. Yeah. Um, maybe we will, at some point, just take this game, work on it for a couple of weeks, and then uh, throw it out there as a free game with um, a video commercial every time you play a move or mm -hmm. something like that, and then never look at it again just so that we can add it to our portfolio and people get to have fun with it because um, it's not really it's a yeah it's not really a premium game it's a free to play game because um, we need people well uh, I, I, I I mean personally I play uh, with even a couple of the people that are in chat but a couple others mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you know the game cards against humanity it's a yeah. card game yeah so I play a, a knockoff version of that on my cell phone mm -hmm. and just once or twice a day, I'll check and see if it's my turn to play a card yet. Yeah. No, no, not time yet. Okay. And sometimes no, I go I, two I days think... without, no. and, and that's great. But in contrast, um, on Wednesday and now Sunday nights at eight o'clock my time at night, I play a game called Quiplash. And this is the one game that I said, gamiest dev may not want to auto host me for that because <laughs> that's like playing. Is that the... Yeah, suitable for work version. It's, or Yeah, and I always put up an NSFW warning, yeah. and I always put a little uh, scroll at the bottom of my screen saying, hey, if you're watching this on someone else's channel, please do not get mad at them. If you hear or see something you don't like, <laughs> the views and opinions that are being expressed are the players and the players only. If you have a problem, yell at yeah. Twitter or twitch.com, doserev, or twitch.tv, you know, rev. Blah, I can't talk. Um, but the, the only reason I, I brought that up is, uh, if you go to gamius.com and, uh, above your head, just so you know, I've got gamius.com, your Twitter and your Facebook. Uh, yep. Thanks. Uh, you can see, um, the, the list of games that you guys have worked on and some yeah. of them are really impressive. And, uh, I, I've looked at that, uh, I've looked at that, uh, turn-based Templars and thought, I, I want to play that. Yeah. It's uh, it's something that we really want to play, and um, I, I I'd like to mention one game. This is oh, very yes, uh, marketing y of me, but um, uh, we've got a game out on iOS called Lines. It's Lines the game. It's very hard to find in the App Store. We weren't really uh, smart with our naming, and uh, like the the search engine optimization part of things is not something that we were really good at at the time. But it's a really good game, and uh, it's it's a very it, it is it's definitely a gamius game. It's uh, one game mechanic uh, that we really get into and make it work uh, across the entire game. 
um, where you have to place a dot on a figure and other dots are also placed on the figure and they kind of spread out like paint. Um, and then your color, your, you get a different color every time, but your color needs to uh, grab as much of the painting or the, the, the wireframe that you can to win one title, uh, one, one level. And one level can literally take five seconds. So it's, it's a very mobile game, um, but we're bringing that to Steam, uh, but we're adding a level editor so people can create and share their own levels, and we're adding a new game mode. Um, but if, if you really like pure gameplay, puzzle games, um, and you don't mind playing on a mobile phone, or, uh, or an iPad, uh, go to iOS and check out Lines, the game. You can also check our, our, our website and you can see what it's all about. And you'll get it in one second. It's super easy. Um, but that's a big difference with turn-based Templars. Both have a very simple gameplay mechanic, but one game is very easy to explain and the other is super hard. Well, I will very much look forward to it being on Steam because I'm not an Apple guy, so I don't have an Apple <laughs> personally. No. But um, I'm at the point where anything you guys put out, I'm probably going to check out. I have this, I have this theory when it comes to buying games on Steam, and I, mm -hmm. I, I'm getting close to 600 games on Steam. I know that's not, you know, that's, something to be proud of. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, wow, I have 600 games, and then other times I'm like, oh, this guy's got like 3,000 though. So yeah. But um, I have a th very simple theory about games on Steam. Uh, if they're if they're ten dollars or less, I, give it a shot. I mean, yeah. I I went out and got a, a burger and fries for dinner last night, and that was a, a, almost ten bucks with tax. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. No, I, I I have that feeling as well. Especially, I mean, with mobile, it's too late now. Uh, the race to the bottom has has completely been won. So free is the way to go iOS maybe you can still do premium we still do premium because we're not good at free to play but um, uh, yeah I mean a cup of coffee nowadays is three bucks yeah. or something so if you sell a game that you can spend maybe ten hours with um, uh, two bucks or one buck is really not so lines not good is enough. available on the Xbox also is that, is oh that right? yeah, we made it for Windows. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, absolutely good for. Thanks for spotting that. Yeah, we created it for Windows, so um, I thought it was Windows Mobile only, but apparently you can play it on Xbox. Yeah, uh, we uh, Loina, uh, my moderator and friend, w uh, has linked it for the Apple Store and the the Windows Store. So yeah, Windows. Yeah, so that's Windows uh, Mobile, I think, yeah. uh, or Windows Live. What did they call it? Um, I'm not quite sure. Who knows? But yeah, I, I clicked yeah. and right there it's um, that's true. I, Good find. I, I recognize it because I have checked it out. It's definitely the uh, the gamiest game, and uh, it, it does look really great. Um, yeah, it, I mean it's it is. We we're pretty proud of that one. So um, we're bringing it to Steam, which is always tricky bringing a mobile game to Steam. Mm -hmm. um, the audience doesn't really like that. So uh, we really wanted to spend some time um, and, and give it something, something more than it was on mobile. And that's why we're adding a level editor and a new game mode. Well, um, we're getting, we're pretty much running out of time. I like to try to keep my palavers to about an hour. Uh, okay. I, I've, I've had people say, no, you should go two hours. And I'm like, look, we I don't want to talk two for hours two hours. Easily. <laughs> And it'd be very easy to do, especially um, with you. you. You're very easy to talk to. You're a lot of fun to talk to. Um, I, I did just Fine. want to mention about Lines. It has that same beautiful quality that I've come to expect. I know that you've said, and, and this is this is a genius quote, if, if the game's not fun to play with boxes and circles, it's yeah. not going to be fun with great art. But no. the art style I've seen in all of your games has always been great. And... Um, yeah, uh, we're gonna you. make sure we we push as many people as we can to gamius content as as, as often. Thank as you. We can. you. You are doing a lot to uh, help the cause. <laughs> well, you, you've got a fan. You've got a fan for sure. And, That's awesome. Um, anything else you want to touch on before we have to wrap this up? No, no. It's just that, um, like you said in the beginning, we stream twice. I try to stream twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, around this time. Um, 
and so that tomorrow in about 23 hours I'll start streaming and then we're going to shut the office down for two weeks because we uh, enjoy our life and we also want to do other stuff um, so we've got a complete office game is break uh, for two weeks although we will be responding to tweets and stuff but we're not here and then we're going to pick it up in January and hopefully make Team Racing League something great so if you guys want to help us <laughs> Do that. Sign up for the alpha, and uh, you'll you'll you most probably get an invite. And uh, you know, I, I'm I'm silly. I should have put your Twitch TV in the in uh, the contact okay. information above your head. But um, Loina is making sure that he is putting in all the relevant links in chat right now. Thanks, Loina. Um, and when I uh, edit this and upload it to YouTube, I'll make sure I get the uh, Twitch link below your name. I'm sure you will. Yeah. Um, so once again, thank you so much for taking uh, an hour out of your day and, and talking to someone who's just a big fan. No, no um, thanks for having me. Some of the Twitch chat really was harping on me at one point. They said I was really <laughs> like fangirling out. They said, ah. yep. <laughs> so they're okay. going to, we're happy to have you. They're going to make fun of me about that. And, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, if are, are you planning on streaming tomorrow? Yeah, so tomorrow I'm streaming uh, unless something weird happens. So sometimes uh, we need to do a test for right. Team Racing League, and that gets precedence. Do, do, um, do you think we might see a small sample of TRL tomorrow on your stream? Uh, hard, because they're they're working on the um, optimization stuff and uh, making hosting and joining uh, lobbies uh, work. And if that doesn't work, then I don't I, I don't get to race at all. And it's hard to race alone because it's a team racing game. So uh, if I want to show the game, I need to have people racing with me. Maybe if I can make a suggestion, just uh, have them record a video of just a minute of gameplay and you can just throw oh, it up wait. as a oh, teaser. That I can do. That yeah. I can do. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, try to remember that for tomorrow. All right. Well, Arya, thank you very much. Also, I'd like to point out, uh, this is episode four. And this is the fourth different country I've talked to so far. Uh, episode five, I think I'm finally going to be talking to another uh, person from the USA. But um, You've got an international podcast. <laughs> I do, I do. And I've got people from, uh, I've already got an Aussie who wants in. I've got uh, someone from Finland who mentioned he would be willing to do it. So who knows? Awesome. We got, we, <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the power of the internet. So uh, everyone, make sure you follow uh, Gamius Dev on Twitch. Uh, I know people have already said they're going out and buying uh, Turmoil, and I can't recommend that enough. Thank you. Tune in for tomorrow's stream on uh, game, uh, twitch.tv slash Gamius Dev. You won't be sorry. And... Um, I think we're going to end it there. Thank you so much for uh, being a part of this, Arya. Thank you. And thanks Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye.